hey what is up people this is Asim back again with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can use carousel widget in your kiwi app okay so this is the demo okay you can move around uh, a different screen or different widget something like that so i'm going to make this project from scratch so guys let's just dig in okay let me close this and now i'm going to have a blank python file here from kvmd first of all i'm going to import the md app class from kvmd okay so from kvmd dot app import md app after that i'm going to import the builder module okay from kv dot dot lang import builder okay after that i'm going to import the float layout from kv dot uix dot float layout import oh, sorry is my bad import float layout okay now i'm going to create a class let's say demo and this this class is going to inherit from the float layout class and then i'm going to pass this class okay after that i'm going to create the main class okay now this class is going to inherit from the mdf class and let me add a build function and this function is going to build all kinds of widgets and functions and now i'm going to load my okay and now i'm going to load this ui.kb file let me split this to the right okay now uh, now i'm going to load this ui.kb file using builder module okay uh, ui.kb okay and then i'm going to return my demo class okay then i'm going to run my main class using this run method okay now in my ui.kb file first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to load this demo class and then i'm going to uh, first of all i uh, let me first of all let me show you an example how carousel widget work okay so here I'm going to call the MD carousel class or widget whatever you want to say now I'm going to add couple of box layout okay um, now I'm going to add a level okay MD level and then I'm going to add a, add a text in this level okay let's say page 1 and then i'm going to align it to the center okay and then i'm going to copy sorry is my bad uh, then i'm going to copy this piece of code after that i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to change it to the page 2 let me paste it one more time and it is going to be page 3 now I'm going to run this project and let's see okay if I move around these I can uh, we can see this page pages are moving okay from left to right right to left okay but uh, in uh, we can see this is uh, doing from the whole page okay or uh, if you want a uh, custom size of your carousel widget then you can add it now i'm going to show you how you can add custom size of your carousel widget okay so for that let me close this now i'm going to add a box layout okay guys uh, uh, let me remove this okay here i just removed it okay now i'm going to add custom size so for that i need to add a box layout or any layout you want you can add then um, let's say i want to change the background color of this layout so for that i am going to use canvas.p4 and then i'm going to use the color property after that i'm going to change the uh, i'm going to use the rgb color format and then uh, let's say I'm going to use the pink color okay 0 0.0 0 0.8 so yes my bad and finally one I think that's pretty good okay 
and then I need to add a rectangle rectangle and then let me set the position to the root and the size sorry is my bad self dot size okay that's good now what I'm going to do I'm going to give the size okay size into y and let's say 0.3 and then I'm going to center it. Oh, sorry, is my bad. Pause hint. Okay. Yeah, this is a dictionary property. So here I'm going to use the center Y. And let me center it. Okay. Now that uh, how it looks like. Now I'm going to add the carriage all with it. Okay. Our custom size is done now i'm going to give some carousel widget here i'm going to use some box layout okay uh, now i'm going to add a level oh, sorry is my bad and then the text attribute and let's say page one sorry is my bad and then I'm going to copy this piece of code and I'm going to paste it a couple of time. Okay, now I'm going to run this file and let's see. Okay, uh, I didn't center it, but okay, let me say, let me center this level. Okay, that looks well. Uh, very bad okay h line center copy this code paste it okay paste it here and then let me run this okay if i scroll from the white place we can see nothing happens okay from the white place okay if I scroll over the pink place okay we can see okay I didn't change the number so page 1 and then I'm going to set it to page 2 and I'm going to run it again Okay guys, hope you guys got the idea how you can add custom size to your carousel widget, okay? Okay, you can add more functions to your carousel widget, okay? There is a attribute called on slide progress, okay? Slide progress. This, what it does actually is it... Um, handles a job uh, whenever the slide is on progress okay so now let me print something okay sliding okay uh, whenever the slide uh, slide is on progress then it is going to print the sliding message okay and after that if the slide is complete if the sliding is complete on slide complete on slide complete now I'm going to print a message completed okay okay you can run any kind of function based on your project uh, I'm just I'm just printing two messages now let me run this file and let's see okay if I slide okay we can see the message is printing okay Whenever the slide is completed, we can find that the slide is completed, okay, here, here in the terminal, okay. Now, okay, okay guys, we can, uh, okay guys, that's for today's video. If you face any kind of problem, then let me know in the comment section and if you want to know about more of these, then let me know in the comment section, I will help you as I know, okay. So guys. Keep watching. Goodbye.